I'm meteorologist Carl Bonac. Welcome to Upper Michigan Source Weather on Demand for August the 13th. On Thursday, I should say the 14th, on Thursday the 14th, the official high was 65, the low 44. We put it all together pretty easy. 10 degrees below average. In fact, it was a little cooler on average because of that overnight low uh, than yesterday. Speaking of low temperatures, it really got cool in portions of the interior of the Upper Peninsula where the winds really died down. In fact, it reached near the freezing mark at Wakefield, 33 degrees. It was uh, also 33 northwest of uh, uh, Newberry at Spinsich Lake, 32 even at Canton. There was even some frost on the roads and uh, uh, on the uh, leaves and so on to the south of Canton. We got a photo of that, 32 at Amasa, and there, were, there was frost on the roof this morning, North Camp, north of Ishpeming with 30 degrees. You can see that we still have that northwest flow aloft, and the system that brought the rain earlier in the week still hasn't moved that far away. We had clear skies during the day, some high thin clouds tonight, moving in ahead of the next front up to the northwest. This low is just kind of stuck for the time being over eastern Canada. As we move through time, here's the current upper air. By Sunday, that uh, trough and low pressure area finally lifts out. The cool front will drop to the south of us, and by Sunday, we'll have a new area of high pressure building to our north. But since the trough moves out, the air will not be all that cool. It looks like pleasant UP summer weather to end the weekend. Tonight, still cool with lows getting down to around 40. Some of the eastern interior and south central areas, maybe even some 30s, but probably not quite as cool as it was last night. Otherwise, the 40s in general and around 50 or so out in the far western UP, temperatures could fall back early and then rise a little bit. On Friday, with the high sinking to our southeast, we expect a south to southwest wind ahead of this cool front. Some increase in clouds. Right now, it looks like only a slight chance of a shower in the western UP in the afternoon. Most of the activity should hold off until Friday night. During the day, it warms everywhere into the 70s, coolest along Lake Michigan and in the east, otherwise mid to upper 70s to around 80, some portions of the western interior of the UP. Then on Saturday, that frontal system drops through. There's a chance of scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm uh, at night over the uh, northern and western UP and then in the south and east during Saturday. But I think the shower trend will diminish as the day wears on with this front sinking to the southeast. Behind the front, more pleasant weather. In fact, we're looking for highs around 70 in the north because of a north component to the wind developing. Otherwise, in the 70s, places like Iron Mountain still could get to 80 degrees. Your TV six day forecast. Then as we look ahead after that pleasant Sunday with high 60s to near 70 north near Lake Superior, well into the 70s elsewhere on Monday, it may start to warm up a little bit. And the next best chance of showers from this perspective looks to be about Tuesday.